Welcome to our visual how-to collection, where we will cover features, tips and best practices to help you get your printer up and running with ease. In this video, we will cover how to set up your Epson printer at home. Today, we'll focus on the ET3850. However, note you can follow these steps for other printers in our range. Just make sure you have your manual at hand, as some steps may vary. First step is to remove all protective packaging and blue tape. Now lift scanner bed, allowing the mechanism to capture and hold the scanner bed in place. You'll find this located by the serial number as shown here. If you have a foam pad here, please remove as well as the blue tape. To close the scanner bed, give the scanner bed a slight nudge and let the soft close mechanism do its magic. Time to power the device. In your box, you'll find a figure of eight cable. Simply connect to your mains plug to the back of the device and go. Press the power button to turn on your device. On the display panel, you'll see a few prompts, the first being language settings. Use the arrow and OK button to navigate and select your option. Next, you'll have the option to complete the installation process using the Epson Smart Panel app, which can be accessed via this QR code the App Store or Google Play. In this video, we will proceed without the app and show you how it's done via the printer, so just click OK. Moving on to Ink. To install the ink, lift the scanner bed, capture and allow the mechanism to hold. Lift the ink lid compartment. Here you'll see four nozzle caps. Match the ink bottles to the ink tank references. So, starting with black, as you can see, the code BK matches the reference. Unclip the nozzle cap. Grab your black ink and remove the outer packaging and cap while keeping the bottle upright. Now insert the ink bottle into the filling port. The ink will start pouring and automatically stop when the ink reaches the upper line. Not only can you see this, but you can hear it too. Once complete, pull out the bottle. Click OK to proceed and close nozzle cap. Now repeat for each colour, cyan, magenta and yellow. Once your ink tanks are filled, close the nozzle caps and ink compartment lid. Use the soft close mechanism to shut the scanner bed. Press the question mark button for five seconds and click OK to start ink charging. Before we move on to the next steps, here's some of our top tips for ink installation. One, don't squeeze the ink bottles. 2. Ink may remain in the bottle. You can save this and use for a later time. 3. Match the ink colour with ink tank references. 4. You can recycle your empty ink bottles. Let initialization commence. This process should take about 10 minutes, so go and grab a cuppa. Once complete, click OK and kick off the print adjustment process. Print adjustment requires you to load paper in the cassette. For the ET3850, the cassette or paper tray is located here. Please note the location of the paper tray varies between each model. Please refer to your manual, which will signpost where to insert your paper. Print adjustment focuses on alignment and print quality. As part of this process, a few documents will be printed and you need to select your answer based on the prompt on the display screen. 
to input your answer, simply use the minus, plus arrow and OK buttons. You can repeat these steps in the future if you need to as part of the maintenance of your machine. There you have it, your printer is now ready to print. To see how to connect your printer to your devices, please see our how-to video for connecting to Wi-Fi. If you have any troubleshooting problems, refer to your manual or start guides on our website. Happy printing!